I'm Evan Thomason for This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now we are standing at the uh, near the intersection of White's Canyon Road and Soledad Canyon Road in Canyon Country. Joining me is Bill Whitlash, the program project manager of the city's overlay program. Uh, Bill, the city puts a big emphasis on keeping the streets and arterials in good working order. Maintenance is a big part of the city's budget year in and year out. Can you talk about the importance of maintaining proper roadways and what goes into our overlay program? Oh, sure. Uh, first of all, uh, our street system is one of the city's largest assets that we have in the city. So we have to maintain it in an acceptable condition for our traveling public. Uh, the city council has recognized the need that we need to increase our maintenance efforts on the streets and roadways so that we can keep our traveling public safe and we, they can travel from one side of the city you know, without hitting a lot of potholes. In the past, the budgets have been at a certain size and we're, the city council has seen the need to increase that. So next year's budget is projected to be about $8 million, where before they were between four and seven million. The, the process involves uh, an eva engineering evaluation of all our streets. Uh, our, our consultant, our design engineer, evaluates all the streets. And we try to prioritize uh, using our, our major arterials that run from east to west, north to south, which has the greater volume of our traffic. Uh -huh. And then we move into smaller uh, neighborhoods and lesser, you know, streets that have less traffic on them. Um, the, the major streets deteriorate a lot faster because of the high volume of traffic and the smaller residential streets, they, they don't deteriorate nearly as fast. Absolutely, and we're standing at one of the major arterials right here, one of our busier intersections in the city at White's Canyon in uh, Soledad. And the reason we're here is because we are about to, uh, you are about to begin a uh, project of overlay in this area right here. Can you tell us what this project will entail, um, what exactly the need is, and what you will be doing uh, you know, throughout this project? Well, an overlay process, first we start with the road, the current road condition, which you can see it has a lot of cracks and ruts and it gets to the point where it's real bumpy for the traffic and, and the road can start deteriorating a lot faster. Mm -hmm. So our, the, the main objective is to make it a smooth, safe travel way for the, for the cars and to keep the water from getting down into the base and, and destroying the road at a, at a faster pace. So what we're going to do, uh, uh, this portion of the road, is, is grind out the top couple of inches, re, uh, reseal it with a, with a tack, tack coat so that the old asphalt and the new asphalt adhere together much better like a cement and then we're going to put a new coating of rubberized asphalt over the top which will last you know over approximately 20 years or so it's designed to last quite a while and that was my next question so when we build uh say we just we just built brand new roadways uh for the cross valley connector what is the lifespan typically of a busy road well, it's based on the heavy truck traffic that drives on our road. So it's designed to last with heavy trucks for a 20-year period plus. But with proper maintenance procedures that, that go into the road after they, it starts to wear out, then uh, the road can last 30, 40 years. Okay, so we described uh, the overlay process, and we see this area right here. How long will that, I mean, this is uh, relatively short, and if you kind of spin around, you can see the uh, bridge over there. So we're going to shoot, we're going to overlay from the bridge all the way to the intersection here at uh, Soledad Canyon. What, uh, what's the time frame for a project like this? Well, this small section of road only, uh, it'll take a couple of days, because first they have to grind off the existing asphalt. The, the, it's going to be done at night on this major road here because of the traffic impacts, uh -huh. and we don't want to you know, tie up traffic and back it up. So we do it late at night, and it'll just take a couple of days to grind it off, re-put the, the new asphalt over the top of it, and repave it. And now we talked, we did talk about overlaying, and the slurry is the other part of that, and I know that we might not um, be doing a slurry project right now, but can you talk about what that is, comparatively speaking? Well, a slurry seal goes on asphalt that's not nearly as deteriorated, uh -huh. and all it does, it's a maintenance treatment to seal out the water to keep it from getting down under the road and, and wearing it out faster. So the, the, the slurry seal treats the surface and blocks the water from getting underneath and, and maintains and keeps the surface of the street in a better condition. And we were just chatting a moment ago about our streets guys will actually go out before an anticipated storm and they'll look for cracks in the uh, asphalt and they'll fill them up as a preventative measure. 
Yes, cracking, uh, seal cracking keeps the water out of the base because a roadway has a, a gravel base underneath the asphalt. And if that gets wet and saturated, then the, the truck, the traffic over the top of it flexes because it's, it's flexible with all that water in there. And it creates cracks and potholes on the asphalt on the surface. So to seal out the water keeps it, the, the base drier and more rigid so that the, it won't create uh, potholes. It's very good to know, and I think you know everybody sees these projects going on, and sometimes they're a minor inconvenience. Um, you know, I think it's much less than the major annoyance of driving on streets, and we've all been to communities that do not uh, properly maintain their roadways, and you hit potholes, and you see that, and it really is a not just a inconvenience or an irritation factor; it's also a safety factor. Yes, that's true, and and our street maintenance guys spend a lot of time out in the field looking for deteriorated asphalt and they do their repairs because it is a safety issue. It's great. So um, thank you, Bill, for joining us. That's probably all you ever wanted to know about the overlay program and slurry program for the city of Santa Clarita. For this week in uh, Santa Clarita, I'm Evan Thomason.